Life is a jungle. You need savage business and finance to lead you out of the jungle today. All right, so once again, in the keeping of the savage business and finance ethos, I'm gonna to talk to you about how I pay myself out of my company. And I'm going to actually take you upon the journey when I had my first company and I'm gonna show, to teach you or inform you where I'm at today. So in the beginnings, I used to literally pay myself every day. In the beginning, I had a storage auction business, would sell something, would take cash out. There was no structure, there was no rhyme. And it, it got pretty interesting around tax time. So when I started my formal business, I put myself on payroll and that just made things so much easier. And I used to pay myself every month, twice a month with my employees. I don't do that anymore. One of the things that I do is I have an S corporation, which is the best thing you should do. Cause if you are a business owner and you have an LLC and you don't have an S corp, you could be paying way more in taxes than you should. Now with an S corp, an S corp is not a fancy corporation. An S corp is two forms that you fill out with the internal revenue service to have your S corp taxed a certain way. So part of having an S corp is you must put yourself on salary. But guess what? You only have to pay yourself once a year to satisfy this requirement. Literally what I do now is I pay myself two or three months. So I actually have pay stubs and have a W-2. And this is interesting. Typically, once people find out I'm a business owner, people are asking for tax returns. Now, when I financed a Porsche, I did not have to provide any tax returns to finance the Porsche in my business name, but I was the co-signer. But typically, what I have done over the years is pay myself out of my business via W-2, via a paycheck. And for the most part, just when people will ask for pay stubs, here you go. And I was pretty good, pretty much in the house. But what I'm doing now is very, very different. And this is part of my deeper holding company strategy. One of the things that I do Number one, I only pay myself three times a year and I take the rest of the money out of my company as a distribution. Now, what is the distribution of uh, pay? You know, you can put yourself on the salary and you can pay your, and this, this is the thing. You can pay yourself any way that you want to. You can pay yourself monthly, you can pay yourself quarterly, you can pay yourself any way that you want to. So one of the things that I have done, and this is something that I have arrived to today, and you may want to do it a little differently for your building, but I've arrived to, I pay myself one, two, three months, and then I take the rest of my pay out of my company as a distribution. Now, why do I do that? Because I don't have to pay payroll taxes on the distributions, which saves me 16%. And then when you start to get into, let's say a million dollars, 16% is $160,000. That's quite significant. $160,000 is a cash fully paid off property in the Midwest, Cleveland, Michigan, Ohio. So $160,000 is quite substantial. So let's say, just for the sake of numbers, these are the real numbers, but I will give you, I pay myself a salary of $350,000 per year. Now, why do I do that? I like to lead a luxurious lifestyle. So whenever I have to present pay stubs or something like that, it makes it easier. And that's the most I take out of the company as a salary. Now, let's say, I was going to take out 1.5 million. Now that 350,000 would be taxed at the state, federal, and the payroll tax level. So I take 1.2 million out, I don't have to pay payroll taxes if I pay myself in distributions. Now, this is something else. This is a, you know, the longer you play the game, the smarter you get in the game. At some point, I am moving to Florida. Why? That gets rid of state income tax. And the only thing I have to worry about 
is federal tax. This is something else that's gonna happen in a pretty near future where I will be moving to Florida. And when I say moving to Florida, what I'm probably gonna do is just buy a house in Florida and rent it out and have a physical residence in Florida that I can, you know, the legitimate residency so I can go ahead and save. Georgia's state income tax is about 6.5%. So once again, Six, that's like $60,000 per million or $70,000 per million. Once again, it's quite substantial when you start getting to the millions. So this is how I do it because do you have to pay yourself a distribution? Absolutely not. You can just take all of the money out. But here's the thing. Let's say you have a year where you pay yourself a salary and then at the end of the year, you have a million dollars worth of profit in your business checking account. Do you have to pay taxes on that? Unless you can find some reasonable business expense to use that money, yes, you will owe taxes on that money. So one of the things that I'm looking at going further, because my business is extremely profitable and taxes are one of the largest expenses that I have. And this is why when I had the car rental business, that gave me the first time I've ever seen a refund. I, I'm going to get a refund. I got a, I'm going to get, cause I'm still waiting on my refund from last year. And literally when you file your taxes via paper and you mail it in, it could take them six months to go ahead and issue you a refund check. So I, I got to go through that. And then this year I will be filing cause I'm taking heavy, heavy losses for the car rental business. So after that, and you know, this year in 2023, I am not going to have those big tax advantages. So this is one of the reasons that I am moving to Florida and I am getting ready to make some big moves. But one of the things that you have to do, and this is something else that I do, and it's, this is why it's in this video, how I pay myself is I have a business and I run a lot of stuff through my business. Take example, my new Porsche. I actually have that car titled in the business name. Now, if you want to deduct a car in your business name, number one, it must be titled in the business name or you must assign that car to the business via a contract. Now, I'm about to get into some very esoteric, high level strategies and tactics. I have been a YouTuber for the last 14 years. Now, this opens up a totally different set of deductions and expenses. Because I'm a YouTuber and I make films, I am a filmmaker. What is a video? A video is a short form film. This watch, I spent $51,000 for this watch. This watch is a tax deduction. I use my Business American Express to buy this watch. Now, you're like, well, Glendon, everywhere I go and I look online and I talk to people, you can't deduct cars and how can you deduct your watch? How can you, you know, uh, once again, uh, I'm in the gym. I have a six month goal where I to literally transform my body. And in six months, I'm going to order me some custom shirts. Guess what? That's going to be 100% a business expense. Why am I going to order these custom shirts to appear here on YouTube? So this watch, you see this watch is in the video. Video. This watch is a prop. This watch is a prop. This is a 50,000 solid gold Rolex. It is a prop and it's 100% tax deduction. The Porsche, I cannot write off the complete purchase price of that Porsche in one year. I can take 20% per year for five years. And I've ordered another Porsche, you know, cause this is the way, if you've never ordered the Porsche, what you have to do is pay $2,500 to reserve a space to be called upon once your Porsche dealerships get an allocation for that vehicle, once they get an allocation, then they call you in. Now, this vehicle is an SUV, and this vehicle, per my research, is titled for the bonus depreciation. So I get to write off that whole video, that whole vehicle this year. So I have a Porsche that is titled in my business name. That's very important. And when I get this new SUV, it will be titled in my business name. So those are some of the things that I do 
because I am a filmmaker. Once again, being a filmmaker gives you tremendous tax deductions. Now, this is a high level strategy that would be very hard for many of you to pull off, but where I live, that is my studio. If you've noticed in my videos, you literally see me making videos in virtually every room. There's a reason for that, because once again, when you make these deductions on your tax reforms, you have to have percentage. You could claim like a home office. It's pretty safe to claim 25%, which means you get the write off 25% of your mortgage, 25% of your internet, 25% of your electricity. There's a spot on there for rent and you can write all that off. But because I use my whole place for YouTube, I get to write off everything. I get to write off because you've seen me in the living room, you've seen me in the office, you you will see me in the bedroom. So when you become a filmmaker, and once again, th this is one of my strategies because my business has so much profit that it's really hard for me to get normal deductions. So this is one of the ways that I get a backdoor deduction by the Porsche, because the Porsche is titled in the business name. I get to write off, well, let me go ahead and explain to you how this went down. I have the cash to pay the car off, but when the Porsche came in, it was a Saturday, and the only way they would let me drive it home was to finance it. So I financed it, and my goal was to finance it and just pay it off immediately, but some interesting things happened. Once again, with the Porsche website, you can only make so many payments. The max payment you can make is 10,000. I did that three times and the site locked me out. So once that $30,000 payment on $145,000 loan posted to my credit report, my credit score went up 30 points. And I was like, wow, I wonder what it's gonna do when I pay off this other, cause I, I sent a check to Porsche and the loan started off at 145,000. Now I have a balance of 40,000, which I will pay off this year. And I will explain why I'm doing that. Number one, I'm getting massive tax benefits from having this car. Number two, when I got financed by Porsche Financial, but I got turned down by TD Bank and another bank because I didn't have comparable car credit. So now I have a $150,000 loan that is 75% paid off on my credit report going forward because you know there might be some other business ideas. I may be buying a, I might be starting a moving company in 2014, 24 or 2025. So at that point with that $150,000 loan on my credit report, I can go out and finance a truck. So that's one of the reasons I did it. So I'm going to leave this loan in place for 12 months because we will see what happens with uh, my credit in terms of me paying off that loan. Because once again, when I paid off the Mercedes, my score dropped 22 and 23 and 25 points. So we will see what will happen next December when I pay off that loan. Yes, I have the money. Now let's talk about this. Why did I buy this? Let me explain to you how American Express works. And I'm gonna do a totally separate vehicle video on American Express. American Express platinum and gold cards work on usage and payments. So the more you use the American Express platinum card and gold card, and the more you pay it off, the higher your limit is. Currently, my established, because I have an American Express rep, my my limit between my platinum card and my gold cards are is 250,000. I want to expand that because here's the thing. And just a little primer, like I said, I'll be doing a separate video about this. When you have an American Express account, you have an account and then you have your cards under your account. You can get two credit limits increases per year on your account, but as long as you're well within the number of cards, because currently, I have eight American Express cards. I have three charge cards and I have five, let me see, five credit cards. And on the 18th, I'm gonna find out if I can get a sixth one, just for you know data points and stuff. 
But here's the thing. Why do I want to expand my gold and platinum limits? When you have high utilization on those cards and you pay them off, this impacts your whole American Express account. So this year, I am going to have my first $100,000 credit card because I have the charge cards and I have the credit cards. I have three charge cards and I have five or six credit cards. And the way that I operate, you know, cause all of your cards are linked from a system basis. So whether it's a credit card or whether it's a charge card, how you use those cards are all put together, so to speak. So I will be eligible for my, cause what I did is I bumped my business Delta Sky Miles to 50,000. And then in July 5th, cause it's on my calendar, I'm gonna ask for 100,000 on that card and we will see what happens. So one of the things that you have to understand and acknowledge is business is a game because from having the holding company, from the way that I pay myself, the way that, you know, that I use money. Because once again, having a YouTube channel and having a filmmaking studio opens you up to a wide variety of deductions and benefits that the average person can never get. Because I've been doing this since I've been doing YouTube and I have never been audited. And if I ever got audited, I have a YouTube channel with record of me wearing the clothing, wearing the watch, using these items and stuff in my videos. And very shortly, you will start seeing the car quite a bit because this is one of the ways because once again since I'm in a very expensive tax bracket and because I don't have a lot of normal business deductions because this is an extremely profitable company I have to be really creative on creating the deductions and this is why real estate is probably going to come into the picture 20 in the 2023 in maybe the beginning of 2024 because I will need to create and establish some more deductions but this is just how I pay pay myself and this is something that is literally come out come about over the years as I've been in business if I learned more because like I, I, I would give you this PNC Bank no one on YouTube really talks about PNC Bank do you know that PNC Bank has a credit card that goes up to 250,000 do you know that PNC Bank's you can get a $70,000 line of credit without docs. How do I know? I did this. I got the PNC credit card and I got the line of credit. So going forward, there will be a lot more stuff that's gonna be coming on this channel. It's gonna be business, credit, and finance, and that's it. Because uh, there are many, many people on YouTube who are talking about business credit, and they will not show you business credit, and they will not discuss the finer details, like this whole thing of your car must be titled in your company's name. And that's something that I've seen a lot of people gloss over because there is a way that you can assign a car to your company to get the tax write-offs. But once again, it's a paperwork game. You gotta have your documentations. You gotta have your LLC, your EIN, you gotta have your agreements. You gotta, there's so many little steps, but because that Porsche is titled in my company's name, I don't have to go through those steps. Now, I do have to keep track of the mileage, but since the majority of the mileage is business, I would say 85% is business. Uh, I'm not gonna have a problem with that. So once again, this is how I pay myself. This is what an S Corp is. And then this year, we're gonna get into a deeper level of training. The training is get rich in three years and get wealthy in 10. Now, what is that? Getting rich is getting to an income of $250,000. Getting wealthy is getting to a net worth of $5 million. And through this training and this curriculum, I'm gonna teach you how to do it step by step. So go ahead, go below, it's in the first comment and sign up and start learning today because what I'm going to do is give you all of the old training 
And then that way you can compare and contrast the new training with the old training. So sign up today and this link is gonna be in the first comment. And if it's not in the first comment, it will be in the description box. So this is Glendon Cameron. This is Savage Business and Finance. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.